Looting in the nether is harder than ever before, but in this video I will explain to you how you can loot the nether fortress and the Bash of Remnants without dying and getting all of the loot. Starting with the nether fortress, the place where mostly blazes, wither skeletons and zombified piglins spawn, but rarely you can see skeletons, magma cubes and zombified chicken jockeys. Using the right tools and fighting these mobs will make them a lot easier to beat. For the blaze, it's the best to have a shield and a bow with you. So when the blaze shoots you, you can just use the shield and when the blaze is far away, you can use the bow to shoot it down. Wither skeletons also have a weakness, which is their height. They are 3 blocks tall, so you can just place a block where you can fit under and they can't, which makes killing the wither skeletons too easy. For once, it is good to be short. Nether fortresses are divided into two sections the outside and the inside section. The outside is made out of breaches, towers and place spawners. The breaches are the most dangerous parts of the nether fortress because you can constantly get attacked by places and wither skeletons. So the best place to take cover is in the towers. It's also very easy to get knocked off the breach so carrying a fire resistant potion helps out a lot. The inside section consists of many corridors, big and small which are a lot safer than the outside. The corridors have fewer mobs, but the main mob that spawns there is the wither skeleton, so farming the wither skeleton skulls inside the corridors is the safest way to get them. The corridors also have chests that are filled with all sorts of loot, like diamonds, saddles and horse armor. Nether fortresses can also be made into automatic farms to get wither skeleton skulls and place rods with the place spawners. To put it simply, make sure that before you go into a nether fortress, always bring a shield, a bow, extra blocks and a fire resistant potion. Now for the Bastion Remnant, a huge structure that is inhabited by piglins and piglins brutes. Everybody knows that the piglins won't attack you when you are wearing a gold armor piece, but this only works with normal piglins. The piglin brute will attack you no matter what, even if you're wearing a gold armor. But that's not all, the piglin brutes have more than 3 times the health than the regular piglins, and on hard modes they deal 9.5 hearts of damage, which is almost a one hit kill if you're not on full health. Even shields don't work on them, because they will disable the shield for 5 seconds with their axe, and then you're screwed. So the best way to defend yourself from them is to shoot them far away with a bow or somehow block them off and then kill them. There are four different types of Bastion Remnants, the Breach, Hoglin Stables, Housing Units and Treasure Room. Each one having a different amount of loot, piglins and gold. Starting off with the Breach Bastion, a big face shaped bastion that has a breach with a golden statue on it. The golden statue isn't guarded by any piglins, which makes it the easiest bastion to loot. Looking into a lower area, you can find some gold blocks which are pretty common here. And when you find a chiseled polished blackstone block, you will always find gold blocks within a couple block radius. Breach Bastion includes loot like this. Continuing on with the Hoglin Stables, a bastion that is divided into two parts, a lower area that is occupied by Hoglins, which is really easily lootable, and has some gold blocks and a few chests. But the second part of the bastion is full of hidden gold and chests. But looting that place is very hard, since there are many piglin brutes, so be very cautious over there. The Hoglin Stables bastion can get your loot like this. Next up the housing units, a bastion that looks a lot like the Hoglin Stables, but the difference is that it has nether wards growing in the middle of the buildings. It also has a few gold blocks around the open area, but most of the gold blocks are hidden away. They can be found in the lower area of the building, with most being hidden behind some blocks. The housing unit's passion loot will be something like this. After that, the treasure room. The treasure room is probably the most difficult, unique and fun. It is split into two buildings, what are connected by a breach. The smaller building has a few gold blocks and some chests. The bigger building has the main loot which is stored away in the middle of the bottom floor and it is surrounded by lava and piglins. Right here you also have the magma cube spawner 
and the treasure room's passion valuable loot includes items like this. Keep in mind that in every single passion, when you find the chiseled polished blackstone blocks, you will find a couple of gold blocks close by, so always keep an eye out for those. To round it up, each passion has its own special differences, like the breach passion, where you can just loot the statue outside risk free. Or the treasure room where you can risk your life but also get the best loot possible. If you're ever going to the bastion make sure that you have a bow, shield, golden armor and some extra blocks unless you want to die and lose all of your items. That's it, thanks for watching, see ya!